Hello, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Yeah, great, thank you. So what drew you to this script? Um, well, it was partly because, I mean, everyone knows about the Titanic, but not everybody knows about what happened after after it sank, you know, um, the inquiry that took place in both the UK and in the States. Um, so this is obviously about the one that happened, the inquiry um, in New York after it sank. Um, and I, I, I had no idea. And a lot of this movie is based on actual transcript. Um, so people who um, are given their, their own testament and account of what happened and what uh, and, and how it happened. But like, ultimately, there was never anybody to blame. So it's interesting to um, it's interesting to see the backstory of how like how they try to figure out what went wrong and and change history um, and change the law like maritime law to make it safer for for sea travel um, and also the character I was really drawn to the character as well there were a couple of scenes I just thought yeah I really identify with her she's a like a, a good heart and she takes no nonsense oh, amazing um, how was casting so how did casting come about um, so I, I had an email from my agent about it um, and uh, like I, I just put myself on tape and sent it across to them and months and months went by and I thought oh it hasn't gone my way literally months and all of a sudden I, I was offered it and at that point I was like oh I'm actually quite heavily pregnant now um, so ask them if that's okay it doesn't say the character's pregnant so can we just make her pregnant women are pregnant it's no big deal and they went they went with it so um, I'm very lucky have you got any memorable moments from filming and what would you say was the most challenging moments from filming this film um, some of the most challenging things uh, were well the fact that I was pregnant and so physically exhausted a lot you know night shoots are tricky anyway um, but I was tired but um, everybody like the crew and the cast everybody was so lovely that it was a very very special film to be a part of not just because of the content um, and the historical element but and and because it was so stunning aesthetically but also just the, the people that I was working with they were just wonderful and Pittsburgh's a wonderful city to film in um, and um, so a, a standout thing for me uh, I, I, I can't think. It was just a really, really wonderful time in my life and I came away going, um, that, that was quite special to be a part of and I felt, felt like I had a wee family after. Um, the costumes look amazing in it. Did it throw back to your Sweeney Todd days? A little bit, yeah. So um, Brittany Graham uh, designed the costumes and um, and she did such a wonderful job. She was really thorough. She, like, she did so much research and um, obviously then the fact that I was pregnant on top of that um, it, it, yeah it did a little bit um, although because I was pregnant I didn't have to wear a corset so uh, but, it, but yeah that that was a really fun thing and even just thinking about the character like where she was in certain scenes you know if she, if she was in Washington you know did she she dressed um, more similar to the uh, the senator perhaps she, she had a certain dress code for Washington a certain hairstyle for Washington and then when she was in New York doing things herself it was ever so slightly different it was all the subtleties and um, that people don't notice but it like just the work that goes on behind by th this is their job you know I don't have to I don't have to do anything I just show up and say my words another throwback to your career um, the in-between is that still your scene is still a meme how does it feel years later that it's still a meme do you, can you still believe it I can't believe it. I always knew it was amazing. Uh, so I'm in the second season and I was such a fan of the first season that um, when I landed the role in the in-betweeners I was so, so delighted with myself. But um, I, I didn't quite expect it to be the cult um, classic that it has now become. And years later there's generations later who are coming up to me saying feisty one you are and I'm like, okay, it's mad, mad. And then lastly, how can you sum up your character in three words in Unsinkable? Three words? Why would somebody ask me to do that? Very big heart. And very big belly as well. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much and have a great night tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you.